All right, so today I'm going to install an oil temperature sensor in the MR2. It's kind of the biggest issue I have right now is just running it hard, not knowing um, how hot things are getting. So I picked up, uh, you know, ProSport oil temp gauge. This is boost, but it's a little temp gauge. Um, they're okay for the money. So gonna do that. And then this is gonna be, well, it should be pretty easy. So I picked up this uh, adapter that I found. And this is drain bolt size for the 2GR that's in the engine. And then it has a 1 8 MPT fitting inside of it. So that's gonna make, not having to make a cap in the drain pan happen. So this will just screw in and replace my drain plug and then the oil temp sensor will just go in this end. So I'm gonna use a little bit of just a high temp thread sealant um, just to make sure nothing's gonna leak um, on the NPT to this adapter. This is the temp sensor into the adapter fitting. And then it's got just some quick fittings on the end. So that and then uh, the premium ProSport gauges come with, uh, you know, you got the gauge, comes with the cup to mount it, comes with a shield. And then you've got your wiring and then the long wiring to adapt everything. So we'll see if this is long enough for the MR2. I'm not sure, it said eight feet, but the engine's in the back. Most cars, they don't have the engine that far away. So, yeah. All right, so I've got the gauge about where I want it. Uh, it's gonna sit on top of the clamshell um, just to be able to mock up wiring. So these wires are going to be what you would hook up for power to the gauge. And then the other wires I've got running down, they're gonna come out below, down this kick panel here, and it's gonna extend. They're gonna come back and go down to um, drain plug. This makes life way easier. It's called like add a fuse or add a circuit. Basically, you're just gonna go to your fuse box, remove a fuse, put this in place, then you're gonna have space for two fuses. One's gonna be for the one that we just kind of hijacked and then the other is gonna be for the fuse to the gauges. Um, so the 10 should be just fine for uh, the gauge. Okay, so got the gauge in its spot. Got the wires connected on the pro sport um, of these wires. I connected the red, which is the constant power and the white which uh, enables the white backlight. I wanted the white to match the gauges instead of the amber. So those two end up going down. I'm gonna end up tucking these away um, down to the power wire, which I use the add a fuse or add a circuit, which goes into the radio. So it'll get a constant uh, signal. So when you do use the um, functions for uh, well, so peak recall doesn't reset and um, the settings that you have set on the gauge don't reset. And then this one's just going to the common ground that I have up on the chassis. So that, and then the wires run all the way back. They're gonna go through into the engine bay. And then I've got them loosely kind of set right now, but it's gonna go away along the firewall. which then goes down under the engine and then along the side of the engine. And I use this little loop just to run them through to keep it away from everything. And then they'll just connect here. And so that's obviously the drain plug installed with the sensor. So plug those up and uh, go see if it works.
All right, so let's test this out. So that's on. Start the car. Cool, so let this idle for a bit. Get temps up and uh, see if we get some readings on this sucker. We got movement as the car is getting up to temp. Gauge works, which is sweet. All right, we got oil temp gauge in an MR2. Now to just finish putting the interior back together. All right, we got the clamshell back on, got it mounted. loud beep gonna have to get used to that but we're good just in the cup that it comes with just stuck it right there on the clamshell with the 3m tape that they supplied it with so now we got a full working gauge cluster well minus the boost gauge because i don't have a turbo anymore that thing's just pegged full boost all the time but uh gonna have a temp gauge now so That'll help when it's those really hot days and start getting nervous. Yep.